right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Make It Custom. It's just about 8 a.m. on January 3rd. I am headed to Vancouver Island with my brother today, my brother Benny. So he called me up, he's just like, hey, I wanna go buy this weird little machine slash vehicle. Uh, I think it's an airport little mini truck plow. I don't know, we do, we do snow clearing. I've been doing it for like 15, 20 years or something like that. That's how we make cash in the winter time when it's seasonal landscaping for my dad's company. Anyway, my brother and my dad, they wanna buy this little plow vehicle, but apparently it's got a bunch of other old vehicles on the same property, so we're gonna go check it out. It's a couple hour ferry ride, it's another like couple hours of driving, but I love day trips, can't resist them. I'm excited, it's gonna be an awesome day. So uh, don't forget to like, click subscribe, hit notifications. Should be a fun little vehicle. I'm not even sure what we're taking to drive down. I think that's our ride right there. <laughs> Big old international crane drop. Okay. We are on the road. Day trip to the island. My brother Benny picking up this weird vehicle and there's some possibilities of other junk on this guy's property to look at, right? That's right, yeah. Okay, sweet. Um, and what is it? It's like a plow? You're picking up some kind of snow plow? Yeah, so this guy's got kind of a custom built snow plow vehicle. It's, um, it's one of those airport tugs that drags the baggage carts around. Um, I'm not sure what brand this one is. Uh, I think a lot of them were made by the Clark Forklift Company, but I can't find any matching pictures to what this one is. But oh, okay. So you don't know if it's actually a Clark? No. Um, okay. But a lot of these things have like big forklift axles and brakes and solid tires. This one has a Dana 60 rear end, which is cheap. Half yeah, and it's cheap and easy for me to service. Yeah. So, um, and then it's got a Ford 300 straight six and an automatic tranny. So really? it should be pretty foolproof. It's on propane with forklift tanks. Oh, so, oh awesome, it's propane. Yeah, so. so it can sit forever and fuel will never go stale. Yeah. Engine's gonna be totally clean on the inside. Oil's not gonna be black. Yeah, and I don't know how janky it's gonna be. Like, uh, it's got, LED lights on it and yeah. um, but the big thing for me is it has an enclosed cab heater and wiper so yeah. for snow clearing like it could be ideal if we you know fixed it up a little bit yeah um, and yeah it's got a plow on it right now it looks like they got some kind of like actual name brand plow I don't know what yet but it's got some wings that look like somebody just like oxyacetylene rough cut some steel and yeah, slap yeah, yeah. it on there and I don't know we'll see it might end up being good um, it might end up being something I just fully remove but my intention is to use it as a snow plow right yeah well I mean we've had a few snow days already but mm -hmm. usually we get most of the snow January February right so yeah we specifically could put it February to, yeah we could put it to, to work this year yeah yeah Sweet. Well, I hope that he's got some other stuff for us to check out. Yeah, he. I, I mentioned to him that I was bringing you, and that uh, and that you know we like to look around at old cars and and buy old cars. Yeah. And he's like, oh well, come with an extra hour because I got five acres of junk. 
Really? Yeah. Oh, I love junk. Sweet. Well, I'm stoked. Yeah. We're just going to get to the, uh, we're on our way to the ferries right now. We're yeah. taking the ferry, couple couple hour ferry ride uh, from Tawasin to Duke Point. Schwartz Bay. Schwartz Bay. Yeah. Tawasin to Schwartz Bay. And then we're going to run up to uh, this guy's property, check it out. Yeah. Sweet adventures. <laughs> Well, she's shaping up to be a beautiful day. Look at this. Sun's trying to peek through. It stopped raining. We're just, uh, this is where the ferry is at the end of, end of this road. And uh, Vancouver Island's over there. Uh, there's a port over here. That's where the longshoremen are shore and long, you know. There's a bunch of water over there. There's water over there. A bunch of crabs right there. There's crabs. If you look out in the water, right out there, that's where we go crabbing sometimes. We, uh, this is a beach along this end. And there's a road there. You can launch your boat. Ah, I don't know, what, what's that guy doing? He's, oh, he's harvesting firewood. Look, he's got a chainsaw. Yeah. yeah. Gang, gang, gang. Anyway, we're about to get on this boat. It's smelling some oil there, Benny. Yo. Why? Is this thing leaks oil? Because <laughs> it leaks oil. oil. Hey, that guy just passed us. What are you doing, buddy? That's okay, you have a nice day. Hello. I do. We're at the ferry terminal. We're gonna be here for a moment. A moment. Yeah. Ferry doesn't leave till 11? 11. And uh... I don't know what time it is right now. 10.22. We got uh, 38 minutes. See how quick that math was? Watch it be wrong. <laughs> no, it's right. It's right. <laughs> They're so happy. <laughs> Giving him a little bit of your, a little bit of your uh, gohan there. Yeah. A little bit of rice. They didn't even fly away. They just like, oh, well, he's just chilling right there. No way! Did you get it? Yeah! What? <laughs> Is he on top of there right now? Yeah! <laughs> He's like, these guys love it! <laughs> I know that guy's got more bento in there. <laughs> You think it's one of those? It is. You think it's it's a PC Ferries truckster instead of a... It must be. It looks just like this. See, it's got eight lug wheels on the back. And shit's gonna have the same slope. Good. I don't know if this one's electric though. I got pushed off a ferry by one of these one time. Little did they know I just popped the clutch and got bump started. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. We made it! We're on the Island. On the Island. All right, Benny, what's your favorite car? Favorite car? Favorite car. Like of all time? Well, I mean, or of some time. I don't know, that 51 Hudson's pretty up there on my favorite. Okay, 59 okay. Buick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has been my long time dream car. Yeah. I would say right now, 59 Buick, I guess. All right, yeah. all right. Uh, speaking of 59 Buicks, this 59 Buick that he's talking about, it's gonna come into the shop at the end of June, at the end of this month. End of this month or the beginning of next month. You guys will probably see it in March. But uh, we're gonna get down on Benny's 59 Buick. Okay, looks like we're here. Uh, we haven't asked him if it's okay if we film yet, so we're gonna go introduce ourselves and, uh, and make sure everything's cool, walk up the property, and uh, as long as it's cool, we'll show you what's going on. There's the place. You can already see he's got a couple of cool things on the road. Little teardrop trailer. Yeah. Oh, square body. What is this contraption? Is that like for like at a dealership? I don't know. Crazy. Loaders. Cool. There she is. I didn't run the start. This thing, when I parked it, I drove it to where it was parked. Yeah. It'll run. It's an old six cylinder Ford now. Yeah. Yeah, it'll. <laughs> you can't kill these things. Well, it's nice and dry under here. Right on. And it does have brakes. Oh, yeah. It does. Yeah, the park brake was working. Oh, these masters are super. Yeah. I got to fix it. Now I got to. Yeah, so it's just. Can I keep looking around under here? Sweet. I don't know how good that stays up. <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll, I'll be careful. You know? <laughs> yeah, I won't do that at your house. See, Pooch? <laughs> yeah, it's it's alright. Like the Mustang shifter. Yeah, so there must be like a little C4 or something. You can look under it. It's not there. Perfect. Yeah, that's good. Hey, Puppers. It's kind of neat, isn't it? It's definitely neat. <laughs> Man, it's all heavy plate. Like the whole the thing's thing like quarter weighs inch. Like a lot, man. I bet. Like it weighs, I don't know, like six thousand pounds or something. Chains on it. Like the front knock on the fenders. Yeah, they're solid steel, they're full solid, welded. Man. Like. Oh, yeah. You cut this apart and make a bunch of other parts out of the steel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're good. Yeah, it's just a Dana sixty in the rear, and it's all Ford. That's a narrow Dana 60, isn't it? Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely, like, definitely a narrow like, one. You, just you can probably it put, it in, like, put it in a drag car, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's all leaf springs. It's no like way. Right it's got car. leaf springs in it? Oh yeah, it leaves the front and rear. Oh, look at this tiny little straight axle. Yeah, I know, trippy, right? What? It's two Ford, I, it's two Ford individual, what are those beams called? They're like that? Oh, the split I beam? The split I beam? Oh, They're yeah. welded together. Oh, trippy. They're like just welded together. Yeah, wow. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's how they made them. That's crazy. Wow. That's when I see industrial it, I like, he pulls it out, there's cobwebs in the distance. <laughs> that was weird. There's a lot of water in there. Is there? Yeah. In the motor? Yeah. It's not locked, so yeah, no. it doesn't matter like to I me. Say, I drove it in. That's weird that it's got water. Just look how dry everything is. Yeah. Do I know what I got in there? <laughs> Maybe just moisture condensation. Yeah, this doesn't look like that much up here. It's probably fine. I would imagine. It's got <laughs> just dripped so in just there. It's not all. Change on it right away, then. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it ran good. Well, yeah. 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 Uh, I went in for a ride. It's a hard ride on the back. No See, look. <laughs> <laughs> it's still full of antifreeze. You guys got the same shirt on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're twins. Red, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to put this down? Nick here? Uh, nobody should be. <laughs> oh, that's too cool. Okay. Look at this thing. <laughs> I know it's cool, eh? It looks like a little So the, the boom thing is in the middle there, so it was just welded on right here. Yeah. 
and I just lifted it up by it, yep. hooked into it, and it ripped it right off. It came up like this to about here. Yeah. It has a little wheel on it, which goes back down to the to hook onto the right this. Yeah. And just the here's the power and ground that ripped off when it ripped off. Fair enough. And the buttons inside, it just up and down. It's up and down. Yeah, it's straight. Oh, it just had a winch boom on it for up and down. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, and see, like it actually just said it. It wasn't even welded yeah. on very good. Look at not, where, not like half of it wasn't even welded on yeah. really. <laughs> oh yeah, that shifter was really tight to, to get out of park. It's I think the cable's a little bit, but the park brake works too. It must have the tiniest little drive shaft ever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at the exhaust. <laughs> oh, it's it? a little, it's just a, a flex hose thing with oh, yeah. one of those patches. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's yeah, got a little, those. little Ford C4 in there. I'd say three plus times. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would have been heavy on a one time. <laughs> nice low tires, so I just I think we're gonna have to do it again. Yeah, one more time. Like Stop that. it right there. He no. might get it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh. We just gotta pry that up. So okay. stop right there. Right there. Stop. We just got this one, this part here on the track. Yeah, really? And, yeah. and it skid over that, so it'll just be like. Skid it over this one? It yeah. did, yeah. Nice. Dude, right here. So we don't need much. Maybe if I just go like that. Honestly, it's it. that's probably all. It's probably all it is. Even just like. Like if this was like right there, it would oh, bump it over. It back. Yeah, right, right there. Because like when that center of the tire gets to that, then he'll be yeah. right over. Yeah, we just want to make sure that he's not pushing too hard. And it's going to pop it out. Oh, it's there. I put the front down a bit more, so I brought the back up. Okay. okay. Well, that'll not do it. Like, I think it all, I think it might just work by just doing what I just did. Oh, sure. So I brought the front down about another 10 inches. Oh, okay. We'll give it a shot. I think it's still gonna run. I just, dude, just stick it sideways across there. Keep it up on it. Well, that, that might corner that down, but we we'll see. No, he's over. He's good. He won. Winning! Good! Yeah, good work. It's good. Oh, Carl, jump and hit the brakes. Brakes!
out? Is that... <laughs> oh yeah, that was slick. Not bad for your first day. <laughs> Oh, I see what you're doing. Can you lift a little more? I can go up, yeah. Yeah, if you go up a little more, we can get it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Ingenuity. Uh, what do you think of the? You think the other side's probably good enough? We are loaded. All right, Benny. Yeah. How do you feel? Oh, so good. You love it. It's yeah. cute. That what thing's freaking rad. What does he call it? The donkey. It's the donkey. <laughs> we just picked up the donkey. <laughs> Man, that guy's pretty good with his tow truck, eh? Yeah, it was good. He loaded us right up. Yeah, steepest ramp ever. Yeah. Only good for skid steers, and uh, the donkey made it up there. That's right. So what's the plan now? Uh, not much of a plan. I guess uh, we can try and catch an earlier boat. Well, did you uh, make a reservation? Yeah. For what boat? Seven. And what time is it now? I don't know. Uh, it is 2.51. Yeah, so back in Victoria for like four. We could, uh, could definitely catch an earlier boat. There's a five o'clock and then there's a seven o'clock. What should we do? I'm well, we are stopped at a McDonald's grabbing some coffee. Uh, Benny's just grabbing them. And uh, anyway, it was a little bit of a bust on the extras, but uh, oh, there he is. He's making noise. Hey, Benny. <laughs> we were hoping that there might be some older cars there and stuff. There's a couple of cool things, but nothing really we were after. Oh, sweet nectar of the gods. <laughs> Thank you. You are welcome. Um, but yeah, I guess now we're just going to head home. We can catch an early ferry, so we're just going to uh, stop off at uh, one of Ben's friends' places. Um, and then, yeah, just head, head for the ferry. This poor van has a boot on it. This thing is killer. Oh. It had a boot on it, like a giant yellow boot. I want it. I want it. Hey, it feels like we were just here. Hey, hey how I do for seven. Can we still get on the five? Awesome. So uh, you want to give up the reservation for that then? Sure. Oh, okay. I just saw all the overheight vehicles go. We're going to make it. 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 We're going to drive directly onto the boat if we do make it.
Well, it's been a pretty good day, isn't it? Yeah. Turn and burn. And he's so stoked on his little truckster. Is yeah. that is that actually what it's called, the truckster? I, I hear people. The people like, say like, airporter. Airporter. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know where I got truckster from. I don't know if that's like a Cushman thing or something. Still but, works. Yeah. Yeah, it's cute as a button though. Yeah. It's funny that like its brother is like right next to it. Yeah. And uh, and that there was a BC Ferries one at that scrapyard. Yeah, yeah, like an identical one to the one they're using right now. Yeah, yeah. Neat. Big tires in the back, little ones in the front. It's gonna be fun to see like how how that thing scoots. Yeah, you know? he says it goes thirty, so it makes sense that it might only have first gear. Yeah. But I assume because it's a six cylinder with a three speed, right? Well it's definitely a C four, so it should be a three speed. It I don't know how they have it set up. Like yeah. I have a feeling they probably would speed limit it. Yeah. You know, in its original kind of job, but hmm. Pretty sweet though. Yeah. And your and what are your plans for like the plow part of it? Because like you're gonna redo all that, right? Yeah, like, so right now it's got that broken winch lift and lower. Yeah. Um, there's no side to side angle and I don't know if I would put, you know, an angle plow on it. Yeah. Um, I definitely want to ditch the winch and go for hydraulics. Yeah. So we'll do, um, you know, a lift gate pump or something. Yeah. And I want to do a box plow that uh, basically you can flip 90 degrees and flip it over, back blade. Yeah. And then, you know, f rotate it back to straight and then do a push with it. Right. So that's the dream. Like a parking stall. Yeah. Built plow, basically. Exactly. Yeah. Not something for doing big roads and stuff. But no. It's kind of perfect for that. It's I nice think so, too. Little. It's like, you know, you could you could spend double on repairing it and it'd be still half the cost of just one plow. That's right. Like, without a truck. Yeah. Yeah, it's sweet. It's yeah, super that's sweet. The, that's the big thing is no yeah. matter how much we spend on it, yeah. um, it's going to be cheaper than buying a brand new plow. Cool. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Well, sweet day. I'm glad we got the ferry early and and we'll be back home and go feed the dogs. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Come here. What's up, Benny? What's up? How's it going? Good, you? You got this thing running? It runs. No way. Yeah. How, how bad was it? It wasn't that bad. There's like a couple of little electrical things going wrong. Um, the propane system is very old. Um, and the tank that came with it is leaking pretty bad. I couldn't even read this, so I put some clear coat on there just to, so I could see what was in the tank. It was bone dry, and I kind of just went and filled it with our card lock card. So it's uh, it's gonna work. Well, awesome. Yeah. So we're gonna huck a battery in it? Yep. Let's do it. Okay. It's on this side. Here, I'll hold the door. Sure. Yeah, someone's got it. You got the door. Here. Are we gonna toot it? We should toot it. Should we take it for a toot? I don't know if it has brakes, but <laughs> we can go for a little rip and see what happens. Well, there's a hill over there, so. That'll help. Yeah, we'll go up the hill. Yeah. Okay. okay. You wanna try? No, I want I want you to drive it. Okay. You drive it, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna film you driving it. Are you just cranking on the propane? It sounds, sounds hissy. Checking for leaks with your double double. Ah, uh, yeah. I think we got a little. We got a little leak. A little, little probe leak in there. Where yeah. is it? Oh, I can't. Oh, I can it, see it. I can see. I can see it. It's right it's there. Soapy water or cream. That's the same thing, right? Oh, dude. I might have got it. It's good enough. No open flames. I, I think I might have got it. Nice. Nice. 
Don't take it. Don't take it off. Don't touch it. Okay. We'll check. We'll check with a lighter later. It works. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come see you start it. <laughs> Look at how old and dirty this thing is. Fire it up! Man, yeah. thing drives great. Fun. Needs a little bit of brakes, but other than that, man, she looks pretty healthy. It needs a lot of bit of brakes. A lot of bit of brakes, like it has zero brakes. It has nothing. Nice. The, the pedal is rock hard. Everything seized. What a unit! Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Are you stoked? Yeah. It's gonna put you gonna put it to work in the winter or what? I don't know. I might even put it to work this summer. I was thinking I might do like a, a one cubic meter water tote right here. Oh, and have it as like a watering truck. Yeah, well, I was gonna, I, and then I was gonna build um, a spot for the steaming unit, maybe even off the front, cause it's kind of light. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then uh, this could drive around our contracts and steam for weeds, cause it's little. Right on. Yeah. Very so, cool. Yeah, and this propane tank mounts awful anyway, so I kind of wanna, it does, it's mounted too far forward, so you can't even, you know, put the. Oh, the it's meant for a smaller tank. In. Is it? Are there smaller ones? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Either way, it can't be there if I'm gonna put a water tank on. Too cool. Well, you yeah. can put two small twenties right here. Yeah, that's true. I don't know what size forklift tanks well, you, come. You can put this vertical one right here. Yeah, I don't know if that's where it used to be or what, but I think the water tote will probably come to. Oh, okay. There. It doesn't really matter. Lots of room anyway. So deadly. I don't know if I can go any taller. Yeah. But we'll see. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, paint it white, make it go to work. Right on. Yeah. All right, well, I think we're going to call that a video. Had a blast going on a road trip, my brother. I love hanging out and just buying weird stuff, getting her running. He got her running, I didn't do anything. But uh, yeah, I'm stoked. I mean, I have my doubts. The thing yeah. looked pretty pretty rough. Yeah, me too. But <laughs> when I, And then we saw water in the oil. I was like, oh no. Yeah, but it, it, uh, it is everything that uh, he said it would be. What was the guy's yeah. name? 
Don't remember. Mister, don't remember your name? Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. It's a uh, pleasure meeting you and uh, and your buddies there at the property. And, and uh, until next time, we know what cars you got now, so if we ever need anything, you'll hear from us. So don't forget to like, click subscribe, hit notifications. Catch you on the next video. See you later, everybody.